Sack. Oh, thank you, everybody, for coming here today. As you're aware, the disappearance of Mr Kenneth Camplin, or Kenny Camplin, as he was known to him friends, is a declared major crime. We believe he is the victim of foul play and subsequently murdered. Uh, the last sighting we have of Kenny is at about 12.25am on Friday the 27th of December 2013 at a fast food drive through purchasing food. We believe after attending at the fast food premises he has returned home where police have later located his vehicle and the receipt for the fast food restaurant. Since his matter was declared a major crime, we've conducted a thorough and extensive investigations. We've spoken to many of his friends and associates, trying to develop a snapshot of his life. That snapshot has indicated he was a social user of illicit drugs and occasionally would supply his friends with drugs. We are asking anybody with information in relation to his um, disappearance or suspected murder to please contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 000. Has anyone got any questions? Do you have any suspects? Yes, at this stage we do have two suspects who have both who have been spoken to. Are they by any chance those two men at the time he disappeared that you were hoping to speak to who were seen leaving his house? No, we have spoken to one of those two men. Um, at this stage they are not suspects and they have been effectively you know, cleared from being suspects. And do you think it might be drug related given that he was a drug user and supplier? Look, at this stage the motive for his murder is not known. But you cannot rule out that is certainly a possibility, but you'd certainly want to keep an open mind that the actual motive could be vastly different to what in relation to any drug use or drug um, provision to other people. What drug? Uh, looks, at this stage, I don't think it's helpful for the investigations to comment on that. And the vision, is it just Mr Campbell and his vision, or is he with a friend? No. The vision purely shows Mr Camplin. This is the very last sighting we have of Mr Camplin, and he's by himself, and that's one of the reasons it's been released, to, to show his last sighting that we have of him, and obviously to appeal to the public, if anyone has any information whatsoever, to contact us. Given his car within his house, did the police believe he might have been abducted or forcibly removed from his house? Look, the exact circumstances of how and what occurred, look, is unknown. Um, obviously, if... Um, we were able to put that jigsaw puzzle together, we would be further advanced, but we're certainly investigating a number of lines of inquiry, and that's clearly one aspect you know, we would like to finalise. Greg, was he a low-level dealer or a heavy user? No, look, he was very low-level. I, I would say more on the social scene rather than you know, a heavy